based in our church history during the pioneering years of our church. They have this. Uh, they had this uh, regular program in order for the church or church members to develop and strengthen their faith, so that uh, uh, in their in anticipation for the soon advent of Jesus Christ. Um, actually, Kapeling is uh, the gathering of uh, all our brethren from the different districts and uh, we have done this uh, by province before. Well, I was exposed to our own local uh, camp meetings right after the war. After liberation, uh, when you say talk about liberations, when the Americans came after the Japanese had been defeated, then uh, we had our first camp meeting actually in Domangas and we had to walk two days to get there. And uh, there were no trucks, no cars, no jeeps, and we had to go by, by foot. Camp meeting in the States is an annual affair of believers, Seventh-day Adventist believers. During this uh, particular uh, event that uh, the church members uh, will have the opportunity to uh, fellowship and they will uh, be able to hear uh, encouraging uh, uh, sermons from the speakers. Uh, there were devotionals in the morning, and usually they had a featured speaker. One particular year, I remember, was Dr. Graham Maxwell. Then there were breakout sessions. Breakout sessions where a person could uh, choose to be in this little, little group. And the group would consist maybe of uh, at the most 15 people. In our spiritual preparation, camp meeting uh, is a solution. Uh, to me, it is a necessity, it's a must, so that our church members uh, will be spiritually strong. I believe because uh, our leaders, our members of the church, have fully realized the mission of the church to proclaim God's message of his soon return. Uh, this is also the time where uh, our church convened in one mind, in prayer, listening to the revival sermons, and by the time God will pour out his spirit. And uh, after this program, then our church members will be revived, revitalized, to actively participate in the mission of the church. If we, if we are going to unite our forces as a church, and pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Then we will also experience uh, the experience of the Pentecost, of the Apostles, when the Holy Spirit uh, was poured upon them because uh, they prayed together. The early Christian church, they stayed for in Jerusalem for 40 days for that uh, soul-searching preparation, heart preparation. They did not just went out to preach. They spent uh, 40 days as their spiritual preparation. All of them have humbled their hearts, have come to realize that uh, pride, uh, material things, uh, wisdom, no? uh, worldly uh, accomplishments or positions uh, uh, does not unite God's people. And by realizing uh, they were able to come in one accord through prayer, fasting, and uh, that comes out to create a big revival during the Pentecost. And the outpouring of the Holy Spirit was poured to them. And I believe during these last days, when we all come together in this revival uh, time, wherein we could connect to each other, and we will ask, we will fast for the uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit, then a great outpouring again of the Holy Spirit will come, and that is, we pray for the latter rain. After the Youth Congress, second WVCYC Youth Congress with Tito David, 
things have been going uphill. And uh, you ask me how, what I have been doing lately. Uh, we've been doing, it's not just me, we've been doing a lot of things. We've been going around and uh, inspiring other people, inspiring other youth to be in this ministry. Our churches would not be sleepy places, but it would be places where our young people are raring to go out and where we will be organized. Okay, this group is ready to go out with Bible studies. They are ready with their, or give Bible studies or give uh, VBS uh, lessons. They will be armed with all the things and they will be ready. Uh, doors have opened for us to go to different places all over the conference and we've been having revival seminars all over the conference. Miracles after miracles have been happening and especially with our finances. And uh, it's actually out of our, from our, out of our own pockets. So we don't have, sometimes uh, we don't even have money, but the money just comes at the right time and we can actually go to those places. And it has been a wonderful experience, really. Most of us right now in the youth volunteers, that's why we're called volunteers. We're not earning that much, but uh, we've realized that uh, you don't have to earn much in order for you to work for God because you are working under the owner of the universe. You and I have a part in that army. It cannot be that you can just sit down in church, no. Once you are a member of God's church, you become a member of His army. After we had that fire, it's really easy to share Jesus. It's really easy to talk about Jesus because after the Youth Congress, it helped us a lot to have this closer relationship with, with Him, with our Heavenly Father. Because uh, again, like uh, Amazing said, we've discovered true joy. That joy is something that up to now hasn't gone down. So it just has uh, come up and come up. And that's not because of our effort. It's because of just God, God's love in our lives. And it's such a joy to serve Him. After we've given up the world, the joy only started. <laughs> and it's been going up and up and up and up. You have to understand from the experiences of others how God works for them. If God works for them, He can work for you. So this, these are the experiences that each one needs to have in order for them to have that deep relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Once, uh, once you've experienced this, you'll never go back. You wouldn't want to go back to the world because once you've experienced this, the world doesn't taste that good anymore. watching this right now, you really have to come to Faith Camp. This is an activity that uh, I think this is like the first time that is going to happen here in the Philippines to have all these wonderful, powerful speakers that have impacted a number of people around the world. I would like to extend this uh, invitation also to uh, our first to our church leaders. And in fact, Ellen G. White is uh, telling us that we need to, to attend as uh, uh, president of the conference <laughs> and also the church leaders. That is to, uh, to, 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 strengthen, to strengthen the meeting by, by giving our, our, full support, our full support with our families, of course. This will uh, give us uh, great benefits, especially to our young people also, and to the children, and to our church leaders, especially, because uh, we are the one uh, that God has given this, uh, uh, this responsibilities also, to lead out His work in its of our church.